After the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre, the tide has finally appeared to turn on the issue of gun control. California Senator Dianne Feinstein will introduce strong anti-assault weapon legislation at the beginning of Congress's next term. At the very least, it will add to an already growing national conversation about the gun death epidemic that affects the United States far more than any other developed country. Now, it's great to talk about an assault weapons ban, but what we really need is a mindset shift for people to realize the world isn't the scary place the NRA wants us to think it is and to voluntarily start giving up our weapons. Judging by the success of a recent gun buyback day in Los Angeles, that mindset shift appears to be well underway. On the day after Christmas, the LAPD collected more than 2,000 guns, 75 of them assault weapons, during a buyback where grocery store gift cards were exchanged for the weapons, and they even ran out of those and had to get an infusion of funds at the last minute. They even took back two military-grade rocket launchers, although it's important to note the launchers were broken when they were turned in. Earlier this year, another LAPD gun buyback day netted just over 400 firearms, meaning the amount of gun-owning citizens ready to part with at least some of their guns increased fivefold after the Newtown shooting. Feinstein's assault weapons law importantly has a gun buyback program written into it. Of course, assault weapons bans and gun buyback programs aren't going to single-handedly solve our nation's gun problem, but they're a logical first step to help prevent another Sandy Hook from ever happening again.